Don't focus on the bad news that's on the news. Focus on the word of God. Attend to God's word. Incline, incline your ear to God's sayings. Let God, let not God's words and God's sayings depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart for their life to those that find them. Uh, focus on the good news. Uh, New Century Version. God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. You don't have a spirit that makes you afraid. Fear has to come from the outside, receiving input from the outside. Worry comes from the outside. Anxiety comes from the outside. Um, in, in our spirit, we, uh, we have peace. It's a fruit of your spirit. Um, joy. It's a fruit of your spirit. You don't have to try to produce fruit. Just remain in the vine, stay connected to Jesus, let that vine life flow through you. You have joy and peace, no matter what the world says, because our joy and our peace is not dependent upon the world. All right, that's your exhortation for today. So we're going to jump into our confessions. Praise the Lord. Uh, all righty. Let me don't have it queued up right today. All right, you ready to go? For those of you that are new to uh, these daily confessions that we do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we skip Wednesday because we have Wednesday morning Bible, excuse me, Wednesday morning prayer at 730. But Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, confessions. And so you can repeat what's on the screen. If I don't have it on the screen, I will lead you and you can repeat after me. But today... All of our confessions will be on screen. All right. All right. You ready to go? Okay. Let's go. Say it with me. I am the disciple who Jesus loves. I am my father's favorite child. I am the apple of his eye. I am well pleasing in his sight. I receive the love that my father has for me. Everything I do and touch shall be blessed because I am the beloved. I am loved, righteous, blessed, prosperous. See, let me pause. You are saying what the word says about you. All right, these confessions line up with the word of God. And Jesus said, you'll have what you say. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Let's start with I am loved. I am loved, righteous, blessed, prosperous, redeemed, forgiven, talented, creative, confident, secure, disciplined, focused, prepared, qualified, motivated, valuable, free, determined, equipped, empowered, anointed, accepted and approved, not average, not mediocre, holy, flawless, without blemish, blameless, and free from accusation. I am a child of the Most High God, I will become all I was created to be in Jesus' name. Yes, you will. You become all that you were created to be. All right, time to take a drink. Psalm 91. My family dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, you are our refuge and our fortress, my Father, and you I will trust. Surely you shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence, including the coronavirus. Praise God. You shall cover us with your feathers and under your wings we shall take refuge. Your faithfulness shall be our shield and buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Uh, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked, because we have made the Lord, who is our refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. 
for you shall give your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample underfoot. Because I believe in the love that you have for us, therefore you will deliver us. You will set us on high because we have known your name. We shall call upon you and you will answer us. You will be with us in trouble with, with, excuse me, you will deliver us and honor us with long life. You will satisfy us and show us your salvation, deliverance, preservation, healing, safety, soundness, and prosperity. Praise God. Now, I want you to see yourself seated together. If you're hearing this from the, for the first time, you're seated together with Christ. We've been raised up together, and we are seated together in heavenly places with Christ. That's where you are. You're far above. That's why I say you're far above the coronavirus, because you're seated with Christ. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Even when we were, past tense, dead in our trespasses, this is God, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and has raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That's where God, that's where you are right now. That's where God sees you. You're seated together with Christ. You're an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus. So let's confess, I am seated together with Christ. I am safe and secure in Christ. I am an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Christ lives in me. As Jesus is, so am I. Everything that belongs to Jesus belongs to me. I am far above Satan, demons, poverty, sickness, and that little symbol is the coronavirus. So let's repeat that, starting with I am far above. I am far above Satan, demons, poverty, sickness, and the coronavirus. Thank you, Jesus. Believe it. By Jesus' stripes, I was healed. Amen. Believe that, y'all. Let's go on. I rest in the finished work of Jesus. The riches of, of God's grace has been lavished upon me. I have abundance and no lack. My Father has given me everything that pertains to life and godliness. I have everything I need and more than enough. Because it don't make any difference what you what it looks like. We walk by faith and not by sight. Don't be moved when you're saying these things. Well, I don't look like that. But this is what God says about you. And you keep saying and believing these things. And they will come to pass. Paul said, I believe, quoting David in the Old Covenant. Paul said, I believe and therefore we believe, therefore we have spoken. I also believe and therefore speak. See, we were saying these things. And, and what, what confession also does, it persuades your own heart. See, and it's being fully persuaded. That's what faith is really, being fully persuaded of what God says that he'll do. And if you're not fully persuaded yet, you keep making these confessions. These confessions will persuade your heart. All right, because, let's go. Because I have entered rest, I have ceased from self-effort. I am under grace. I am sealed with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I depend on Jesus to care for me. Because I rest, God is working. I receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness, and I reign in life. Glory to God. I have already been blessed with every spiritual blessing in Christ. I am led by the Holy Spirit. I know the voice of the Holy Spirit and the voice of a stranger I will not follow. Blessings are on my head because I am the righteousness of God in Christ. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's who you are. Thanks for joining me in these confessions today. And really, um, these confessions with also these exhortations, I'm sort of like, if you connect with me and if you receive me like this, um, I'm, I'm your spiritual life coach, if you allow me to be. If you receive me that way, I can. Uh, I, I want to guide you in the abundant life that Jesus died to give you. Just keep showing up each day. And I, I tell you what, you're not going to recognize yourself after a little while. Praise God. So we're all growing from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And it's by the Spirit. It's by the Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much, Paul. All right. Thank you all. Thanks for being with us today. I'm glad it's a comfort to you. Amen. That's what the Word of God does, man. The Word of God comforts us.